Thanks for coming back. <laughs> We're sticking around. Why don't you take off the wrapper, Blad? Where are you talked about this? They're much easier to take off once you unpop the cork. You may also notice that this time around I've put on some music in the background. That's by design. We want you guys to actually watch this video and come back. You know, instead of us being those family YouTubers that are like, go watch my channel, and you're like, yeah. We want you to actually watch it and enjoy it. At least I do. Alright, here we go. Now, I normally don't spend this much on a bottle of wine, but seen as... Seen as what happened, happened today, um, I felt that it was only appropriate to find a way to honor our dear and lost friend that took the last and final breath today. Come on phone, you're you you're not the one drinking the wine here. What's going on here? We're just we just have un Cooperative everything today, don't we? Goodness. Wow, okay. Just that kind of day, I guess. Well, if all else fails, flip the cork, I guess. Alright. Now to the real good stuff. The tasting. It's hard to tell if this music is too loud for me. It's like mega quiet, but then I get on the phone and I'm like, whoa, that's loud. So. Ooh, it smells very, very strong. Much different than uh, the smoking loon. Yeah. All right, let's give it a go. Don't worry about the face, I'll explain. <clears throat> one more. <clears throat> Sorry, one more. <laughs> 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 Anyways. Okay. So. First taste. Um. The first initial taste is very. Loud. Yeah. That's a good word for it. Very loud. Um. You know, but then it kind of soothes and kind of evens out a little bit. And then it's very smooth afterwards. Um, it's also very, um, also nice and warm. I know you would say that no alcohol does that, but not really, like. Yeah, very, um, dark tasting, very, if you guys have ever had, like, a, a dark beer, I'm more of a light beer person, but, like, what is that, IPA, I think, is that what it is, probably what it is, like a black ale or, like, an IPA, it's 
it's got that very distinctive like feature of you know you can you can sense it it's kind of similar it, similar but it's wine so it's not um Yeah, it really kicks. And then... And then instead of like... Instead of like soothing, it just like... It kicks! And then it's like that. So like... Like... BOW! That was it. That's all I had for ya. But then you feel this nice warm sensation. Alright. Let's learn a little bit and uh, do a rating and call it there. I've already taken up enough for your time. <laughs> All right. Once you taste me, you want to squirrel me away. You see, I'm not to be circulated among your average party guests. You know, the ones content to fill their glass to the rim with whatever within's arm reach? No. I'm the one you discreetly hide behind the espresso machine and snag for those like-minded associates who love to share a good secret. Okay. Um. Initial thoughts on that. I would say... I could definitely see, even though they probably didn't mean it this way, I could definitely see, like, why it would be next to the espresso machine. I can kind of, I almost feel like they meant to put it that way because, you know, that sharp kick, you know, it's, it's almost like taking an espresso shot and you're like, Whoa! and then you're like, oh, okay, that was it. And then you're like, oh, wow, I feel warm or... You know, with the special, you're like, whoa. So, that's the taste me. Uh, what else we got here? Comes from the highest quality fruit grown in our estate vineyards in the Red Mountain, Walla Walla Valley, and Yakima Valley, Avis. Is that New Zealand? Sounds like New Zealand. Fermented by native yeast with extended maturation in concrete and French oak. Secret squirrels privately owned and personally made by people who truly love wine. One taste and you'll want to squirrel some way for yourself. I mean, one taste and the squirreling has already been done. <laughs> um... Yeah, so, it doesn't look like uh, there are a lot of varieties, um, so either this is a very new one, yeah, because they got 2014, 2015, this is a 2015 uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, which is actually not even up on their website, so, very new company, I'm guessing. Um, I think there's a lot of potential there, uh, and, uh, yeah, I think... I think if you like wine that really hits it on the head and really hits like the spot if you're looking for something to just knock you back a few notches, I think this is it. And I'm not talking like alcohol content, I'm literally talking like knock you back a few notches like whoa, like you had one of those days where you accidentally ran over a squirrel for the first time in your life and you need to give a toast to a squirrel that took its last breath, like, I mean, yeah, this, this would be it, guys, so, um, guess we'll do one lace, lace, bleh. one last taste test and end it with a rating, what you say? I will say this before I give you the rating. Um, it's definitely not dry. And you definitely are not like, 
and Ivana afterwards. It just has that really strong punch. So, after that, um, I, scale of 1 to 10, I would say, um, I'd have to give it, you know, I'm a hard grader when it comes to wine. I've had a lot of wine. I'm gonna have a lot of wine. So, last week, we did what? 6.7? I will upgrade this to a 7.8 out of 10. So, definitely moving in the right direction. Um, I'm definitely excited to see what other kinds of wines we're going to try. Uh, hopefully, no more squirrels get hurt in the process. Um, and I hope you join me next Wednesday. And I'm going to try to figure out this phone camera situation. So that way we don't, A, have this angle. Because it looks like I'm d talking down to you. I'm not. I promise. Um. But, you know, something more stable and sturdy and, you know, something for us to enjoy and sip on. Much love. Much love, squirrel. And uh, stay up, peeps.